Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to our Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today we're going to talk about Luis. So, well, before we get into it, there might be some firework noises in the background. Uh, maybe. We might not pick them up at all. Which would be good. That'd be great. Um, so this is going to be my Luis build. And we're going to talk about things that you can change. But for the most part, these are some pretty good things here. If you don't have two of her... Uh, two of her in general. Um, and if you only pulled one, one is fine if, as long as you get to plus four because it does give you some upgrades. And I'm going to show you guys what they are since I couldn't find any information about them on the wiki or anything. Uh, it gives, them, gives our ten times mod boost, which is fine. And I'm assuming they stack because they can only work on her anyways. So it's 100% level first damage just from just from equipping two of those, which is good. Allows her to be a fire uh, element without having to be imbued, which is even better for the most part. And so, got her vision card here, best in slot for her for sure, because it gives her a little burst damage and gives her some other things like magic and whatnot. So that's good. Um, another thing here you might be noticing, I guess it's not very apparent, but as you can see here, for this for this unit, even though she does magic, you know she's a mage technically. She is someone who wants to use physical killers because she's actually doing... It's confusing, I know, for a new player. She's ba here. Here's like the best way I can explain it. She wants to equip magic stuff, but she wants physical killers because that's how, how her attacks work. So her magic attack can be imbued with elements, and basically she's doing physical damage, but she's doing magic stuff. <laughs> it's hard to explain to like a new player, but like that's the best way I can say it. Like It's just better to... So do that. And I have Lone Purse damage on her because her Lone Purse is a chaining Lone Purse. So I mean, if you wanted to do that, I don't know if this is actually good or not yet. I don't. I can't find any Louise friends yet. So the biggest thing though is equipping physical killers. Don't equip magic killers on her, as despite her being someone who wants to equip magic on her, you don't want to equip uh, magical killers. So she is built for uh, Clash of Wills, of course. Um, I might be saying, why aren't you equipping Lone Burst Damage on this form? This form is probably more worth it than her base form for Lone Burst because she's a finisher. Well, I'm not using her as a finisher in my cl Clash of Wills. So, as you can see here, yet again, I've had more physical killers. Although these ones are magical and physical. And, once again, I've got these two. You don't need this. This could be uh, Golbez STMR or Minister Code or whatever rope you have. It doesn't, I mean, it's all good. If you, only, if you only got one of her and you just upgraded her via shard bundles or anything, then you could use... There's other options. There's other options you could use for a secondary weapon. I know a lot of people are probably going to be asking this. Oh, I only have one. Here's Blue Storm. Very good STMR to choose. You want to you want to try to equip two guns because she has gun in peril. And so how that works is if you have two of them equipped, it's more effective than just equipping one of them. So... That was always the problem with equipping two two swords on t Terra, for example, because you'd like to have at least one for, for one rod because of rod in peril and whatnot. But if you are using Noctis, for example, or even Alana now, you could use two swords on, on, on Terra now. So that's a viable option. But this does get upgraded in the future, by the way, from Chronicle Battle. So this will give um, Fistless more stats and whatnot. So it's quite good. It will get upgraded, but even without the upgrade, it's still a decent alternative to one of her other STMRs. So that's a pretty good option. Um, oh, I see that she can equip... I mean, it's just not that great. But she can equip this. I mean, it gives her more magic, at least. Gives her some more magic. That's pretty decent. Probably want to equip... Don't want to equip anything but guns, though, I'll just say. Probably just stick with guns. I know there's not a lot of guns that give magic in the game. Quicksilver, for example, is, is it an option. I really don't think there's many other options, unfortunately. I, I really don't think there's very many options here. We're doing this in real time. We're not pausing it. So, <laughs> I don't recommend this. I don't recommend using that. Uh, Quicksilver and Blue Star are pretty much the only other options. 
Do you guys have any? I think I have all the guns in the game. There might be like one I'm missing or something, but. Pretty City leaves pretty much all the guns in the game for the most part. And I wouldn't recommend using anything besides these two. I mean, if you really have to use this, that's fine. But at least this has killers on it, right? This has some killers on it, so. Yep. Demon killer aren't too bad. So if you equip this in the ball, she'd have 300%. Yep, she has 200% kills for everything. Uh, the catches, she's really only good in, in Clash of Wills, I'm pretty sure. Her modifiers inside of Clash of Wills are insanely powerful as long as you have Morale Gauge on your... Uh, the Morale Gauge, Gauge, whatever. On your side, then she's going to be doing massive damage. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been proving that by... Uh, she just does so much damage, it's crazy. But... This is the general build, of course, having two... Of her TMRs is definitely best in show, best in slot. Um, but like I said, Blue Storm is fine. Um, and using her, I would use her. I would use. I would just for Clash of Wills for the most part until you get to the harder stages. I would just stick to her Rave Shift form and just use uh, this move, which is her strongest move because it has Gun and Barrel tied to it. So the Gun Gun and Barrel thirty five percent pretty good. Pretty, pretty strong, um, pretty strong. And for my team, as you can see here, I've got, this is not really so much about Clash of Wolves, my like Clash of Wolves team, but I guess this will be kind of part of it. Last fall here is here because he's my boy, had to get him, and also he has a permanent quad cast in his Brave Shift form, which pairs up really well with another unit here, Luis, that has permanent quad cast in, all, in both forms. And so there we go. So. I'm gonna try it out a little bit here. Let's get into it. Remember, guys, the more the more EX levels you have, the more morale, or the moral morale gauge you have. God gauge. So I guess we can do this. I can't remember the, this. Of course, they remove remove the stat breaks that the boss does, and break. Brilliant. And your eyes is just gonna fill. The okay, LB guys. Gauge. She's going to buff everybody here. By so the killer human killer, pretty good. It's interesting it says monster, but I never noticed that. Uh, so we only care about the physical part, of course. For both both for both units actually, and also Terra doesn't care about killers at all. But they do care about these stat buffs here, which are pretty okay. It's it's her 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 LB is quite good because it costs so little. As you can see right there, Yuraja instantly filled it. I just she doesn't have anything on. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything on her at all. And so what I've got here, I'm just doing doing for for that. And he's unfortunately I don't have uh, I didn't do his dungeon, so he's at level 2, but it's okay. He's not here for the damage. He's here for the chaining, so... Could be a, yep, there it is. So, in pre-levels, even I think even without Terra, I think even with, with any kind of finisher you could win, because Luis, as long as, long as you have the morale gauge on your side. Uh, Louise is pretty strong. Like her her modifiers when you get a strong bar there when it gets on your side, it's ridiculous. The amount the amount of damage that you can do is ridiculous with Louise. Um, maybe I'll make a video on her limit bursts in, in another video. If you guys want to see it let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways guys just remember physical killers but equip magic stuff. And best in size is definitely having two of her. Uh, hopefully item world comes back because I really want to have these. It, it feels gross not having both of these enhanced but with something. And it would be, uh, it would allow her to be capped on this side. Unfortunately, there's no way to get capped right now. Unless they give up her limit purse, which I guess it does not matter too much since I'm not using her base form for the, for the most part. Eventually, I probably will have to, but not now. But this was just a build to show you guys that you could you could swap this around and have Lone Purse damage on this side as well. And of course, uh, Espers are going to be your best friend. Most Espers will give you the most killers. She'll have almost 
all of the killer that she'll need from espers so make sure you guys are leveling up your espers anyways guys hope we help, help this helped you out um gun and peril is really power, powerful on her so another way of using gun and peril is on her on this right here i believe or no that's not that that's not it she has a gun and peril somewhere on here i thought it was this i think it's maybe it's the other side no i'm just being silly then it's there's i know she has two sources of gun and peril somewhere i know it's somewhere yeah anyways guys if you have any questions in the comment section down below let me know let me know comment section comment section and hopefully this video helped you out physical killers again i'm just gonna mention that physical killers because i get a question a whole lot and i'm gonna try to test out her loan first i'm not sure if it's actually worth it because she actually doesn't have any loan first damage besides these on her at all so i'm assuming that's probably not worth it although her this loan burst is quite strong it's the usual stacking type loan burst so i just i personally don't need it because i'm using her as a chainer so Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you like these kind of videos. And make sure you subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Because I do these videos all the time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.